Hey guys, it's phase one once again with another video. Uh, today is, is really exciting for me. Um, Bethesda finally re 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 um, revealed Starfield's official gameplay uh, trailer right here, man. And I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about it, man. I'm really excited to show it with you guys. What we're going to do in this video, we're going to quickly, uh, we're going to go through it. We're going to react to it. And we're going to talk about some of the elements within it, man. This is a, a project that I've been looking out for that I, I want to eventually add it to the channel. And this is really excited to finally see a natural gameplay, uh, an official gameplay reveal. All right. So without any further ado, uh, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. All right. Let's get right into this video. It's hard to express how excited all of us at Bethesda are to be here with you today. We're so grateful you're spending the time and we know you've waited a long time to finally see Starfield. Uh, it's easily our most ambitious game ever. Like our previous games, it's an epic role-playing game where you get to be who you want and go where you want. But this time, you'll be exploring space. So let's jump right in. This is early in the game as you arrive on the mysterious moon of Crete. First and foremost, this is beautiful. The graphics is just beautiful, man. Um, but let's, let's get right into it. Just, just had to say that. According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction.
would appear that pirates of the Crimson Fleet are using the facility. Damn, man, this, this, man, the, the, the FPS looks fantastic, man. The, 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 the gunplay looks really good. The graphics look fantastic. It's clean, simple. The way the UI is looking is, 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 is solid, man. I'm, I'm really uh, impressed with the uh, combat aspect of it so far. The fact that you have a jetpack to jump, perfect. After some initial encounters, you're invited to join Constellation, who, in the future the game is set in, are the last group of space explorers. To meet them, you'll head to the capital city of New Atlantis. Welcome to Constellation. Hold on, that is that is cool, man. He used he used his his watch to actually unlock the door. Identifying. Hold up to access. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. I like that. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. We're all here because we're committed to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. As to what they are, what they're building. You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. So, you found something? The new guy found it. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? The artifact you found appears to be one of many, scattered across the galaxy. If we can find more, we can unlock their secrets. Beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. Of course, the Settled Systems is full of groups with other priorities. That's the Crimson Fleet! Everybody get ready! The fleet doesn't follow the rules. Agree to work for UCC Steph. Together, we take down these cutthroat pirates. We're not just here to shoot the bad guys. We're peacekeepers. We protect the people of the Free Star Collective. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, no one quits. The only way out 
is death. The path ahead may be dangerous. But we are not stopping. Most Dusties don't even make it this far. Because whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity forever. That gives you a look at the stories in Starfield. But ultimately, it's not our story. It's the story you create by who you are and the choices you make. And that starts with character creation. It's our most flexible yet. You can customize all the elements of how you look. You'll pick a background that gives you three starting skills. It says here you spend some time as a diplomat. Having a way with words might prove useful. There are optional traits, and these come with unique advantages and disadvantages. But it's not just in how you can look, but in how your character plays and develops. The skill system combines the best from our previous games, and you can unlock new skills as you level up, and then you rank those skills up by using them and completing challenges. And there's deep crafting systems, from running research projects with resources you find, to crafting weapon mods needed to survive. And you can build your own outposts. These act as a home away from home for survival and resource generation. You can choose where and how to build each one, and you can hire characters you meet to keep it up and running. But that's not all. You can even build your own spaceships. You can choose crew members. And yes, you can completely customize the look and layout. There's loads of different modules, ship manufacturers, and more. I have to say, it's so cool, we just absolutely love this. It's not just how the ship looks, it's how it performs, from engines to shields to weapon systems, because yes, you can fly it. Thrusters boosted. Man, man, I'm thoroughly impressed with this, man. The, the combat looks intense. The, 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 the ship flight is, is, it looks so good, man. Like, look, like getting the cockpit view, the, the third person view. First of all, it looks amazing. The space looks amazing. The skybox is fantastic, man. This is very impressive, man. Look at this. So it looks like you have to manage. You have lasers, bow, missiles. I don't know what that means. I think these are lasers. I don't know what BAL means, but this looks also like it's missiles. And you get to control it, right? You get to control, you get to manage those systems as well as your engine, shields, and gravity. Maybe your gravity generator. So you get to, the, like, there's, it seems like the ship uh, flight mechanic is, 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 it looks like it's very in depth. And it looks like this. Uh, all this um, MFD seem to mean something, you know, you got your map here, you got your ship shield uh, information right here. It looks really, really good.
can't wait for all of you to experience the game. Thanks again for being with us today, and thanks for all the support you've given us over the decades, especially on this game. It's been an incredible journey for us making it, but we know that's really only the beginning, for it's when all of you play it that the real journey begins. And you may be wondering, just how big is this game? So we thought we'd take one last moment and show you. Let's take a look at one of our planets, Jemison. You can land in New Atlantis, but you can also land and explore anywhere on the planet. And it's not just this planet, it's all the planets in the system. From barren but resource-heavy ice balls to Goldilocks planets with life. And not just this system, but over a hundred systems. Over 1,000 planets, all open for you to explore. We can't wait to see what you find. Man, 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 man! I'm very impressed, man. This, this, this looks so good, man. I'm, 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 I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed, man. This, this is, this is fantastic. This game, man. I've been, I've been keeping an eye on this game, and it's, it's. I'm, I'm really uh, excited for it. You know, this, this game has exploration. There's, I saw some resource gathering. You see some combat, um, FPS combat as well as ship combat. It seems like there's an interesting storyline whereby you get to choose, um how you want to play whether you want to be a pirate or you want to work for the good guys and um also um the character create creation looks fantastic it looks like uh the skills and trait um within the game is is going to be in depth which i like um the crafting system looks really good you know um it, it's I'm, I'm quite impressed with that base the base building looks amazing that's that's huge the fact that they're saying there's a hundred systems with about a thousand planets and you can build your base anywhere. That is huge. I mean, I would have been okay with 10 systems with maybe 50 planets, but like they went a thousand planets. That's crazy. And looking the way that the game looks right now in terms of graphics and how in depth with, with, with uh, life and everything on the planets are, is, is fantastic. Yeah. So like, um, so it seems like uh, base building is going to involve survival. You're going to need a you're going to need a base for survival and resource gathering, and um, you can also hire NPCs to work for you. Man, this this is fantastic. Ship building, like I did not expect. I don't think they ever announced that there'll be ship building in it, but there it'll be ship building, which is great. This is fantastic, man. I was really uh, shocked by seeing that, and um, it, it's it's it, it looks really good. The space flight looks fantastic. Oh man, I don't know what to say about this game. This game just looks really good, man. So, um, for those that don't know, Bethesda is coming up with with this game, Starfield. I think they extended the uh, release date. It was supposed to come out this coming um, winter, but I think they extended it to next winter. So, um, hopefully, um, we get it sooner than later. Um, this is one of the projects I'm really excited about. This is a uh, I intend to add this game to um, to be covered on this channel. So if you like Starfield, if you'd like to hear more about Starfield, make sure to leave a like and subscribe on this. All right. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on this gameplay reveal. All right. Until next one, I will see you on the next one.